Welcome back to a new video, friends. This week we're exploring the Jurassic Coast here along the south of England. We're going to start from this spot where we are. It's called Old Harry's Rocks. There are these beautiful cliffs leading to the sea. They're so huge and they're amazing to see. Absolutely stunning. We haven't seen a landscape like this in ages. It's very famous as well with photographers. Chris wanted to be here a long time ago and now he's here, finally. Finally, finally made it. <laughs> this whole Jurassic coastline is around 100 miles long and it starts here in Studland Beach where we parked up. It actually continues all the way to Exmouth. Now this whole unique coastline is called the Jurassic Coast because there are fossils inside the cliffs here dating back to hundreds of millions of years ago, back to the Jurassic period. This place is already reminding us kind of as a perfect mix between the Faroe Islands and the Great Ocean Road in Australia. Over there there's this thing called the Twelve Apostles and it's these big boulders coming out of the ocean and it kind of looks similar here. Holly. These cliffs are gigantic. When it's beautiful and sunny in the UK, everywhere is just wonderful. Nostalgic right now because this place feels like home. Maybe one day we can take you there as well. Who knows? Here we got the FPV pilot. FPV season's back. Yay! I'm taking a bit easy though, I don't want to crash. Honestly, I can't believe how this afternoon has turned out. If you had seen it this morning, you would have never guessed in a million years that we're going to have this epic sunset. We've had some bad weather over the last few days and we wanted to kind of get exploring the Jurassic Park not Jurassic Park, Jurassic Coast, sorry We've only got a few mums here and there's so much to see and my god I'm so happy that we made it today Always trust your gut feeling As we were walking along we could see like two rabbits that kept coming out from the bushes and they kept going back in whenever people passed by and Charlene I think is trying to get a closer look That's actually Charlene down there I bet you she's looking for rabbits What were you doing? Looking for rabbits. And there you are, guys. She was indeed looking for rabbits. <laughs> there was one here, look. Let's wait for him, he will come out. Oh, oh my god, look at her. <laughs> Straight into the shower. Supermarkets here in UK are the best because they have a large variety of brands and food as well. Today I'm going to bake a ready-made cottage pie. You know why? Since I had one to be honest and I'm so looking forward now because I'm so hungry. I bought a cottage pie and also a fish pie. So we're gonna try this one out today. We parked in a lay-by and right now Chris is going up on the rocks. Oh, on the rocks. Up on the blocks <laughs> because woo, we're not leveled so Chris is doing his magic trick is that better? yeah better good we are leveled now this is the size of it I think it's okay for the two of us hmm? this lay-by is not too far from a castle it looked really nice lit up at night so we're looking forward to check it out tomorrow We started off the next day with a very healthy breakfast consisting of scones, cream and jam before heading back towards the coast, obviously stopping by at the castle on the way. We got love that will never need to hide. Love will always rise. 
Our next stop for today is this picturesque town called West Lulworth. And the main reason we stopped here is so that we can head back to the coast and check out this area here. But before we do that, we wanted to have a look around this town. We got love that will never need to hide. Love will always rise above. Whatever comes, we will be just fine. I'm so in love with these cottages. The exterior looks amazing. I can't imagine what's inside. They all look nice and cozy. Oh, look at this tiny house here. Oh, <laughs> how cute. Wow, that's amazing. Tree <laughs> tree cottage. Everything is like well designed. Look, there's a band there. The most beautiful one in the village, I think. <laughs> so right now we're here and we're going to walk all the way to here. 185 million years of the Earth's history. It's amazing. Shalin's just touching the rock now and going back in time. Did you know that this was a whole desert? Yeah, of course. No, you didn't. Maybe not. <laughs> We've made it to the top of this viewpoint here. And we can see this amazing cove here beneath us. I'm so impressed with the formations of the rocks, to be honest. There are lines in the cliffs. Very unique, yeah, Very along unique. the coastline here. And obviously, as you can see, the weather is completely different from yesterday afternoon. Uh, but still, we're enjoying it so much. It's a bit windy, yeah. Beautiful. We're in beautiful Dorset. Wait, wait, legal activity. <laughs> Do not cross the rope. Don't give me any fines, please. Look at this. <laughs> Lucky we came here early. Well, we didn't come here that early today. When we saw that the weather was cloudy, we kind of took the morning easy. So it's about midday now. <laughs> now that we're back along the coast, our next stop for today, I think, is over that big hill. You see the people going up there? All the way over there. And I think there's something nice to see over on the other side. So this is pretty steep. Luckily, it doesn't look like it's too far. I think we should be at the top in 10 to 15 minutes. But we also didn't bring any water with us. Before you go. Rukiera. What I love about hiking in Britain here is that you find all types of people. Some are dressed really smart with the coat on, some are in their hiking gear, some are in their flip-flops, and some are in their raincoats. So you get the full mix here. Finally, we're here. So that was a long walk, but definitely worth it. We have made it to the main viewpoint here, and that behind us is Durdu Dor. It's this arch which has formed itself into the ocean around 10,000 years ago. And it's quite a busy tourist spot because this is where all the people are. <laughs> there's so many people here. And in this direction, there's this long pebble beach here all along the coastline. We can hear the sound of the waves coming in, which is amazing. In summer, you can definitely see the blue waters. Today, we can't really see it because it's not that clear. There are so many people out here today, but the view is amazing. Look at this wonderful view of the beach. What an epic place. At the end of all of that hiking, there's this lovely area here where you can get something to drink or an ice cream. And lucky for us, apart from our water, we also forgot our money, so we're not having any good luck today. So I think it was quite expensive to park up there near Durdu Dor, near the cove. So we actually parked in this quiet street near West Lowluf, just outside the village actually, where we started this morning. So we've just continued along the coast and we've stopped at this place called Weymouth. It's like a jagged point out of the coast. And we found a bit of a more quiet park up this time here, just to have something to eat really. Fish pie. 
So while we're waiting for our food to cook, we're just gonna go and check out the view. So that's Weymouth there and this is Chisil Beach. There's also the Olympic rings right here. And these houses are so nice. I think these houses are all Georgian style. They are so cute. So many people have a motorhome here in the UK, so like in every road, in every neighbourhood, you're going to have two or three people with a motorhome in their driveway. And just now we passed through these three neighbours and all of them had a motorhome. Lovely to see. Being on the road is fun and adventurous and we're constantly moving. Right now we're driving through these country roads and they're so beautiful. We can see the lush green popping out, some yellow flowers on the side. It's only us driving here and, and other few cars. And right now we can really see the sea as well. Wow, it's just amazing. We didn't know about this beautiful drive here and this is something that we really like as well while doing uh, this road trip. You never know what you're going to find. Green countryside to the right and the blue sea to the left. Look who's driving now. Charlene's first time on the wheel. I'm driving better than you. <laughs> <laughs> So we've just stopped at this beach along the coastline. It's absolutely stunning. I can't believe the way the weather is turning every afternoon. Like in the morning, it was horrible today, just like yesterday. And we've got a beautiful sunset again. It's so nice and relaxing to be here by the beach. Random beach, no idea what it's called. Just somewhere where we stopped on the way. And they've also got like parking spots for motorhomes. Although we can't sleep here, so we need to move on afterwards. Yeah, it doesn't get much better than this. So I think this is the point where summer begins, or spring begins officially, but summer vibes really start coming in. <laughs> what I'm mostly loving about this trip here is that we're kind of going, it's kind of like a road trip, you know, whereas back in Europe, we were passing through spots which we know that we're gonna, well, we can pass from again if we want to. So the fact that we're kind of going in our direction along the coast and we're going to head up and you kind of have this feeling that what you're leaving behind you, you're not really going to see again, at least for a while. And it gives you that kind of like road trip vibe that you kind of enjoy everything. And when you get like a nice sunset like today and like yesterday, you really get kind of more and more excited that you've experienced that moment because you're not going to go back. You're just going to keep on going. If you're wondering where Holly is, she's here. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be looking this way, Holly. <laughs> the waves crashing in. She's on duty. These coastline rocks have been here since the Triassic period. It's crazy, right? It's just a precious coastline that Dorset should be very proud of. Who would have thought that we were going to be here standing on the beach, looking at the sea and these beautiful cliffs? We're actually sitting though. Sitting. <laughs> Yep. So that's it for today. We're heading back to Tenby. Unfortunately, we can't stay here. Would have been nice. <laughs> Would have been nice, but we have to go and find a park up. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed exploring the Jurassic Coast with us. We're really surprised of how beautiful and unique this place is. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Ta-ta! Bye!